So today I'm testing out this portable cobweb antenna. So this is the antenna I got off eBay from a Polish company. I've only set it up once back at home and only within a matter of a few hours I managed to get into China on voice at home and that is saying something. So this will get me onto 20 and quite a number of the higher bands and the walk bands. So really it's not for 40 and 80 and all that kind of stuff. This is the first time I've actually fastened this to the drive over mast and it's got a bit of a wobble on which I'm not happy with. So what I might do is I may just put some guy, guy ropes on this and guy it down over here somewhere and over there to pull equally against the uh, the, ma the, the drive over mast. So today is just a quick visit out just to test this out get on the air for half an hour or an hour and um, hopefully make a few contacts or at least try the antenna out. I'm just going to fasten this down a bit more because I'm a little bit concerned over the the pressure point at the base of the drive over mast. When this is rocking the base of the mast is catching there so I'm going to get some guys on it and we'll get the radio on and see what we can hear. So I've got one of these plates on and I've got a mast kit from a Klansman mast kit so I get a number of these different size uh, going sets so I'll get this stabilized a bit more before we uh, lift it up a bit higher right it's a bit better that's pegged down there and that one is going around this post here Okay, so I've put a common mode choke on the feed line just as it comes into the vehicle in case there's any nasties picked up in the shield of the feed line. So setting up, oh. oh, it's a bit better. So setting up this antenna compared to the like an N-fed antenna, which is probably one of the quickest ones you can put together, put up. This has taken about 40 minutes, 45 minutes. Part of that is because the the antenna, it's it is actually the manufacturing of the antenna is really good. I'm really impressed with the and uh, the machining of it. Part of it is aluminium and the rest of it is like a, a plastic, you know, a lot of the, the rods are, are like plastic. Um, it's quite lightweight, folds up quite nicely. I, I've bought a, um, a, like a long rod bag, in you know, like a fishing rod type bag for it to go in. So it protects it while it's being moved about. At first it's a bit stiff getting all of the, the joints and getting all the bolts in. Um, so that, that takes up a little bit more time than it would do normally. Uh, during the winter it's going to be a bit more challenging working on such a sort of nimble level. But put them as the brakes. So I'm not here to break any or to create any pile-ups. Uh, today is just playing with the antenna and hopefully having all of it working. Readable even uh, with four. So it confirms that uh, I made some things here the right way, H.I. One last question, Louis, as a Dutch guy, do you it's take loud. a part on this uh, Dutch round table uh, daily in the morning? <laughs> Right, it's tuned in. Okay, so the story so far is it's definitely hearing really well. We've got Iceland, Brazil, Australia. So the, it's the whole DX. I'm only really getting 
European stations to come back to me on FT8. Part of that, I have got an issue still inside this vehicle. So I wonder if the uh, if this power cable is also picking stuff up. It's unshielded. Right, well the antenna hasn't fell over yet, so I'm taking that as a win. Um, I've made some, caught some small fish, but no big carp, as it were. This is just 15 meters at the moment. 15's receiving loads, but just I'm just not breaking through on the small output from the radio. Right, that's my slightly extended lunchtime over. I'm going to uh, pack this down in the mem and head back. So thoughts on this antenna, it's well built. So I've made a, a, a small handful of contacts on FT8, on 15, um, but really I need, I need more time on a proper setup and outside this vehicle. But uh, yeah, quite enjoyed it. Really windy, it's testing out the this mast idea that I've got. It seems to be working okay, so yeah. Hope you've enjoyed it, and I'll see you on the next video, so bye-bye for now.